Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to see how we can do post estimation with the Autolytics Hub. So I'm going to walk you through the whole pipeline of how we can set up a data set, a custom data set for post estimation. Could be human posts, animal poses, and so on. How we can set up a data set, choose a model, and then also how we can train it directly in the Autolytics Hub with the cloud training feature. So we have everything. We don't need to write any code at all. We can just use the Autolytics Hub, and then we can train a custom post estimation model. So when we're talking about post estimation, it is basically just detecting all the different kind of like key points. So it could be joints. So let's say that we have a human, we can detect key points and joints in the shoulder, elbow, hand, it could be the nose, ears, and so on. So it's basically just key points that we want to connect. Could also be animals, like the legs of an animal, humans, whatever you want to do, key and post estimation on. So let's now jump straight into it and let's see how we can set up the whole pipeline. So first of all here, let's just jump into the Autolytics documentation. If you go inside the task, we have all of these different tasks. You can use Yolo V8 for all of them. Detection, segmentation, classification, post estimation, and oriented bounding boxes. Now we're going to do post estimation. We already have pre-trained models. If you just want to do human post estimation, you can use the pre-trained models directly out of the box. But if you want to use custom data sets, do post estimation on animals, different objects. I'm going to show you how we can train and fine tune those models now. We already had a video where we go over like post estimation with Autolytics, but now we're going to see how we can do it on our own custom data set. We can go through all the models in the documentation. So we have the nano, small, medium, large, extra large, and those variations of the Yulvate model for post estimation. Also, if you just want to run the pre-trained models or after we have trained our own models, you can export them and directly specify the path and the weight files down here. And this is how easy you can run it. It's just a single command and you're running your own custom post estimation models. You can see the data set format here. If you want to generate your own data set, you can also use RoboFlow directly, export your data set and integrate it with Autolytics Hub. We have videos about that as well. You can run validation, prediction, export it, and you can do everything in here and use all the other tools that we have in the other videos on this channel. So definitely check those out. Let's now just jump in straight into the Autolytics Hub and let's see how we can set it up with our data set. So this is the homepage of the Autolytics Hub. If we go inside the data sets, we have a bunch of data sets in here, but let's go down to the tiger post that we have. We also have all these other data sets that I've connected from RoboFlow, so you can integrate that as well. So we have this tiger post estimation model. We can get an overview and we will also see all the images. So right now we have 210 images in our data set. If we just go into one of them, these are the individual key points that we want to train our custom post estimation model on. So we just want to do post estimation on a tiger instead of humans. So if you want to create your own data set, I've just jumped into the data sets overview. If you go inside the data set tab, pose, we can see the Coco and Coco 8 pose and also our tiger pose data set. But this is just to show you the Autolytics format for post estimation. So here we can see that the format is one text file per image, one row per object, and then we have the object information per row, where we have the class index, center coordinates, width and height of the object, and also the object key point coordinates. So if we take all this information up here, this is the format that we need to have it in. So class index, x, y positions with height, and also our pixel values for our key point coordinates. And this is pretty much everything that we need to have and our YAML format. So for our YAML for format, we need to specify the path to our dataset root directory, or where we have our train, validation, and also our test images. And this is the information about our key points. So we have our key point shape. So this is the number of key points, and this is act like the key point pair. So if you have like x, y values or x, y visible values, so that will either be two or three. And we also have our flip indexes, which is used for augmentation and so on. So let's say that you flip your index, you want to have your indexes in the correct way. So you act like flipping all the key points together with the image. Then we have our class dictionary in case you have multiple classes and so on. And this is just like the tiger in this example. So this is the whole data set structure that you need to have. You can use RoboFlow and so on to export it directly. So you don't need to do anything at, at all, but definitely going to take a look at this because this is the custom Autolytics YOLO format for post estimation. So now we have everything you guys can do, everything from creating your own data set, uploading here to the Autolytics hub. We have videos about that. You have the correct format. Now we have this target data set. We can just directly go up and hit train model. We can specify which of the Yolovi 8 models that we want to use, small, nano, medium, and so on. Let's just choose the small one here. We get a short overview over the accuracy and also the speed of our model. So these are just some guidelines and a quick overview. We can also have some model configurations, now our epochs, image size, and so on. But all of these default parameters are good. Now we hit continue. And now we can use this Autolytics cloud training feature. You can also use Google Colab or bring your own agent if you're training it locally on your own computer. But definitely test this 
auto late cloud training out it is really easy to use you just need to specify the number of epochs let's say that we just want to go with 50 epochs in this example here you can also set a time training duration here so let's say that you will just want to train for an hour and then you're good to go with your model you can also just specify that but i like to just keep it here for epochs so let's just go with 50 epochs in this example here we can choose the instance that we want to use so right now we just go with an nvidia t4 16 gigabytes of ram so it costs around like 0 0.75 dollars per hour to train this model and again you don't need to do anything we just have our data set connected only a few clicks and now we can go in and train our own custom post estimation models and it doesn't really cost a lot and it will save you a ton of time just iterating over your data set trying out different models variations and also parameters so right now we can either, either like pay up now up front if you're using like the time period but right now i just have my balance and you can just top it up if you're running out of balance but listen now hit start training that's so how we're going to use the ultralytics hub account and this is everything that we have to do. So now it's going to prepare the cloud instance. This might take a minute or two. So just wait here until it has booted up the environment, the GPU, and then it will start the training. You can see the live metrics in here for your custom post estimation model. After it's done training, we can see some charge preview. So you can either go in and export the model to use it in your own application or projects, or we can directly use it with the Ultralytics inference api so now we can see that the training is in progress we can either stop the training we see the number of epochs remaining and right now it's just estimating the time setting up the whole environment and then we will see the training results here in just a second so now we can see the metrics live while a model is training right now we are at epoch 5 and we're training this for 50 epochs we can probably just stop the training after a couple more epochs it already looks pretty good but let's take a look at the losses so we both get the box losses class losses object losses we can see some more details about our data sets so everything is now integrated into the Autolytics Hub. You can use it directly out of the box. You can even go in and test out different models. This is how easy it is. Connect your data set, start train, look at the results, and then you can iterate faster in your computer vision, applications, and projects. So after the model is done training for 50 epochs, we can go in and take a look at all the charts here, both for the model, train, and also the validation. Basically, you just, just go over it. We can get a preview of our data set. We can upload a couple of test images. We can also just choose one of them down here for our training and our validation set, and then it's going to do the inference. Here we can see that it's predicting these key points, so they can probably be trained for longer. We can specify the image size, play around with these track bias for a confidence threshold, intersection over union thresholds, and so on. And once we're ready to go, we can deploy our models directly with the Autolytics Cloud API or export the models. But we have tons of videos covering all of that in here. But you have the example request and also the example response that you will get back from the Autolytics Cloud API. So thank you guys for watching this video here. Again, I've shown you how we can do this post estimation in the Autolytics Hub. We have the whole pipeline. You don't need to do any coding at all. Just connect your data set, train the model directly, export it using your own applications and projects. We have tons of videos about how you can do all of that on the Autolytics YouTube channel. So definitely check those videos out. And then I'll just see you guys. So definitely check those out. And then I'll just see you guys in the next video. Until then, happy training.